Hello, this is Darren, also known as Bombadil, from the No Guts No Galaxy podcast. We're here to discuss and take a look at Battle Mech Movement. A battle mech is essentially a walking tank, and like a tank's turret, the mech's torso can turn and fire independently from its legs. Be sure to get some practice in, as mastering this feature can make you deadly on the battlefield. And remember, to realign your torso with your legs at any time, press the C key. If you take a look at the battle grid below, you can see which direction your torso is facing, which is represented by a highlighted cone. And the direction of your legs is represented by a dashed line and an arrow. Torso movement is controlled by the mouse. Move your mouse left until your mech's torso stops rotating. Now move the mouse all the way to the right to gain the full measure of movement from left to right. You can also move your torso up and down. All of these movements have a limited range of motion. Understanding these limitations will give you an edge in battle, especially if you know your enemy's limitations. The W, A, S, and D keys define your basic battle mech movement directions. Holding or tapping W will move your mech forward. This also increases your mech speed. Each mech has a maximum speed, which can be viewed by the number displayed in the throttle indicator. Holding or tapping S will decrease your speed if you're moving forward. If you continue holding or tapping S, your mech will begin walking backward. Reverse speed will also be displayed in the throttle indicator. At any time, you can press X to bring your mech to a complete stop. Pressing and holding A will turn your mech left. Pressing and holding D will turn your mech right. And remember, all mechs have inertia when moving. Be prepared for that to affect each mech chassis differently. If your mech is equipped with jump jets, you can press and hold the spacebar to engage them. The longer you hold the spacebar, the higher you will jump. While engaged, your jump jet charge will decrease. The charge will begin to increase when your mech is on the ground and the jump jets are not in use. And remember, when jumping high, to avoid damaging your mech, be sure to save some charge to soften your landing. This concludes the Battle Mech Movement tutorial. Be sure to check out our other tutorials, and on behalf of the No Guts, No Galaxy podcast and myself, until next time, Mech Warrior.